In classical mechanics, work is a measure for how much energy is transferred to or from an object by a force. It is a scalar quantity and can be calculated using the integral of a force in a dot product with the path of the object. Sometimes it's useful to take the definition of velocity and write the expression for the mechanical work as the integral of a force times velocity integrated over time. And since work has units of energy, it can also be interpreted as the change in an object's kinetic or potential energy. Before we continue, we have to talk about the sign of the work a little bit. Depending on whether it's positive or negative, we can see this as absorbing energy or transferring energy away. If W is greater than zero, then something is receiving work, its internal energy rises. If W is negative, then something loses energy, and it's said that it can perform work. But all of this depends on the point of view, specifically it depends on the force inside the integral. So let's do an example. Imagine an object of mass m sitting on the ground. In order to raise it to a height h above ground, we have to apply the force mg in positive z direction. And the path that the object is traveling is purely the z direction within the boundaries of 0 and h. This means our differential path is just 0, 0, dz. And the dot product simplifies to the integral between 0 and h over mg times dz. This yields mgh, which has units of energy. The work we just calculated is positive, therefore it is absorbed by the object as potential energy. Since forces always come in pairs, thanks to Newton's third law, the same process that led to an increase of energy must lead to a decrease of energy somewhere else. Now consider the hand that is raising the object. If you pick it up, you experience the force minus mg pressing down onto your hand. This is just the weight of the object you feel on your hand. Since the force now has opposite sign, we get the same numeric result, but with a minus sign. So the action of moving your hand to the height h corresponds to giving energy away. In other words, you transfer the chemical energy stored in your muscles to potential energy of the object. Note that if the force vector and dr are perpendicular to each other, then no work is being performed. If you carry something from point A to point B, where A and B are on the same altitude, then you might be exhausted, but in the physical sense you haven't been doing any work. So now that we know about work, we can also talk about power. Power is a measure for how much work has been performed in a certain time. Let's take our previous example. Imagine we raise the object in 10 seconds. Then the power of this action is mgh divided by 10. Now imagine we do the same process, but very slowly. Say we need 10 minutes for this. Then the corresponding power is mgh divided by 600. As you can see, if you do the same work in less time, then the required power is larger. And that's pretty much it for this time. Thanks for watching.